All right. What up, YouTube? It's Andrew, my cousin, and me, the Cameron Weston. Um, this these are all my reptiles. This is like a reptile room update, but also all my pets. So new people that just saw, um, can learn or see all my pets here, Lily. Um, so this is my female leopard gecko. Her name's Lily. She's four and a half years old. She's really healthy. And, um, like here, if you see her, her tail's nice and fat, her body's fat. She's really good. Um, I'm, not too fat. I'm just trying this new thing called, like, using mealworms. Because I've heard that apparently they get even bigger when they're fed mealworms. Because I got two of them today at the expo. Um, yeah, if you can put that lid on. Well. She's in a 30 gallon tank. Um, I have three little ones that are. Two, two of them are two or three months. Um, and one of them's about four. Hold on, I'll get them because okay. the new ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oh, come here. I'm a noob. First. All right, so you can. He's holding the babies. Here, hold them towards the light. Like, hold them this way. Here, Joey. This one's name is Joey. Um, here, hold it down low. Okay. Um, this one's name is Joey. It's the reason why I know the difference. I have another one that looks the same. But instead of the pink, it's actually orange. Don't touch it because okay, she's, jump. yeah. She's about four and a half, five inches. She's healthy. Um, the person I got her from was really good. Um, they fed, they fed them mealworms. So they're used to mealworms. Um, Lily and Buddy, which are my oldest ones. Lily over here is four and a half. Buddy's four months now. But, yeah, I mean, here, hold them like this. Oh, okay. But, um, they're really healthy. I just got them. They're still acclimating, acclimating to their new tank. But they're in a 20-gallon. And, yeah, so sh she's really healthy. Come on. Um, here, just kind of let her, here, watch. Oh, I know what you mean, like, let her pull down my arm. Oh, don't hold her down. There so, we go. I can grab this one. No, <laughs> stop. Is it buddy? I grab them. Hold on, sorry about this. Tank's falling apart. Um, who's in here? Oh, nobody. Who's in the man cave? Okay, can you take the yeah. camera? Just hold it towards the man cave. So. Yeah, oh, just... no. Milky Way. Can I hold Milky Way? Yeah, hold on. I gotta get these other two to move, so hold this. You got it? And this one's heavy. Yeah, it's made out of like actual rocks. Let me see that. So it doesn't fall apart. Okay, this is Milky Way. We just got her at the Fair Expo today. Alright, here, I'll take the camera back. Okay. And, and you'll hold her. She's um, a little thinner. I got her for 10 because she's so thin. Um, but here, hold her towards the light. Okay. Um, just hold her like this. Um, so she's. Her body's a little thinner and her tail's a little. Here, I'll show you how big. I mean, her tail's really pretty, but it's definitely um not as thick as not as thick be. as Buddy Ooh. nor um Joey, mm -hmm. but we're trying to try and get her to get bigger. Um, she's two three months old, just like um what's her name Joey. Joey. And Buddy, did we pull out Buddy or Joey? Buddy. This tangle. Wait, no, we took Buddy. Joey out and Snow White, or oh. Milky Way. Oh. Those are my two new ones. Um, She's really gorgeous. I got her for 10 and the other one for 15. I'll put her back. So, here, I'll take her back. Ooh, she tingles. Come on. Sorry about that. Come on. Whoa, I got here. it. Here, no, watch. Oh, wait. No. Okay, okay, so that's Milky Way. And this is right, buddy. Here's Buddy, is my healthy one. She's my biggest. He, or he, yeah. or she. Here, hold well, her towards the light. Okay, he's the biggest. He's about a good he's five, five and a half. He's five, five and a half inches. Um, He's really big and healthy, as you can tell. His body's thick, his tail's quite thick. Here, I'll try and. Oh, hold on, I gotta wipe off my screen. Um, She's really big healthy she's actually one of the ones that's been on crickets 
but now I'm starting them on mealworms. So I got this little yellow thing over, or this blue thing, that I'm going to put the three babies in to see if they'll eat the mealworms. And he'll, she'll learn to know that they're food, not crickets. Here, I'll take her. Okay. All right, put, when you're putting her back in the cage, be really careful because she's really here. I'll take her. Okay. Because she's coming. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're so sorry. But those three are in a 20 gallon. 20 gallon breeder. Um. Right. So here's. Get over. There's Joey. Here, back here. Right there's Joey, or Buddy. Then over here is little Milky Way. Okay, so over here I have my snake. He's in a 45 gallon breeder. Um, he was two year old. Here, I gotta set you guys down. Here, can you hold it? I can got it. All right. He was a rescue because when I first got him, he was two years old. Um, two, or foot and a half, two foot, and he was only fed pipe five pinkies in his whole life. That's two but years. But I've had him for two years, and I <laughs> fed him once a week. Like, I started off just doing pinkies. They were frozen thawed. Then I went to frozen thawed hoppers. Then frozen thawed, um, medium ones, or fuzzies or something. And so, now... He's eating full-grown mice. Um, here, once he sheds one or two more times, he's going to be put on to small rats. Um, he's about three and a half foot now and four years old. So he's actually put on foot and a half, two foot, since I've got him. And when I got him, he was as thick. At his thickest part was literally the size smaller than a quarter, but bigger, yeah, about the size of a nickel. Um, this will do until he's full grown. Really healthy, I feed him. Now, you guys may say that I feed him too much, but I actually fed him once a week, so he'd get nice and fat, and he'd get used to eating. He eats really well. I think it's kind of weird when people are like, yeah, he eats like a champ. But I like to say, you know, they eat good. They all eat really good and healthy. I mean, they're in a clean habitat. I always kind of change it around once a week. To give them a new variety and change their moods. But like you said, he... And also tank setups. This one, I think the cage naturally is 250 bucks. This um, tree thing that he's in right now is $60. I made the other hide right here. I have popsicle sticks. The water dish, 20 bucks. This thing was like 15 rocks I found outside. Bedding's 15 bucks. These temperature things for ten. Um, heat pad under there is a thirty dollar one, but it also goes about a third of the tank, about this far. Um, then this side stays around eighty. This side stays in the seventies to eighties. Sometimes that side will go to the nineties. And over here, I mean, if you want to buy a thirty gallon tank like this one, Do it's it. um about and thirty gallons are really good for. Um, up to three full-grown females or one male and two females. Um, because they say that each full-grown leopard gecko needs 10 gallons. But these guys are babies, so they're good in the 20. When they get bigger, um, Buddy and, um, Joey are going in here with her. Um, the reason why, um, what's her name? Milky Way isn't going in there with her is because she has like a crooked tail so babies may be a little weird but I'll actually get her another male but I mean I still want her to breed because I'll make really pretty babies um once I breed I'll make a video and I'll actually be selling them and I'll be breeding these three in here will be breeders the want Lily in here will not because she's just getting old but I mean, tank like this is, I think it was like 100. This 20 gallon was only like, I think it was 50, 60. Um, sand's like 10 bucks. This sand was 10. This water dish was five. This water dish was five. Um, 
what can I say? This piece of wood over here, driftwood, was 10 bucks. Heat lamps, 12. Getting screens is another 15 each. Um, I'm going to be getting a heat mat for the babies because I'm going to try and get another heat pad and heat lamp. So these ones will have a heat pad to stay a little more warm because there's babies. And then I want her to really have her own heat lamp and a dimmer one because I want to put it on about right here so she can bask up there. Um, really, I made everything in here besides sand, water dish, tank, top, meal worms. This one I made, I mean this buddy's man cave because we did think he was a boy when we first got him. But I made that. I got this coconut thing. I actually found a coconut and when we cut it open we made a hut out of it. And yeah, and we only bought sand, water dish, piece of driftwood, and mealworms. But yeah, that's about all we have. About 100 bucks total on both tanks. Mm, just 100 on this tank. Basically, right, just what you see. About in just both. right here, um, just in tanks without animals and all that. It's probably it's about two, three hundred with the animals. I think I'm pushing a good four, mm -hmm. five, four or five what? Hundred. Mm -hmm. I'm pushing about a hundred. Um, now the place that you don't want to get animals or like lizards is um actually Petco, but I mean I got Lily and my. Um, buddy, there, cause I mean, somebody got to has to take them home, take care of them. But I mean, they're they're okay. I mean, all they do, I mean, there's they really pack kind of too many of them for one cage. It's like they have like a little two gallon thing, and they have six, ten of them that are the size of Buddy in there plus, and it's like. Dang, and then they have beer, like, they, and then they have, like, three beer to dry, and then, like, 45 gallons. They have two baby ball pythons that are half a foot in a 45 gallon. They have a tarantula in a 10 gallon. It's kind of sad. Yes. But that's also why I kind of get my leopard geckos there. I've got two of them there. I've got my two other ones at, um, the... Pet convention. Pet, yeah, convention today. Um, peace out. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. View, comment, yeah. subscribe, and comment. But yeah, peace out.